All right, so this is Dean with I Buy Cool Stuff, and I bought a single bit or hewing hatchet the other day, and I was cleaning it up. I'm here in my shop. Uh, it's just a lean-to, but I was cleaning it up on the wire wheel here, and I found a name on it. Let's see if we can show you the name. So it's Evansville Tool Works, Evansville, Indiana, USA. So I thought it was a nice enough thought it was a nice enough hatchet to uh, warrant putting a handle on. So we're going to put a handle on it. So let's put a handle on this hatchet. See how it goes. All right. So the inside of the eye of the hatchet was a little messed up. I straightened it out. I put a bit of an edge on it. I'm not going to sharpen it razor sharp. I could if I wanted to, but took some of the edges where somebody had been beating on it and stuff out. Been working on the eye so the handle will fit. So we've got a nice old handle here. I cleaned it up, been sanding on it uh, so that it'll fit. All right. So now we have to get the handle on all the way. So I'm pretty sure it'll go on all the way. Hope it will. I think we'll grind on it a little bit more. So can you see? Uh, this is my grinder here. So let me get her plugged in. So like I said, this is up at my property, and uh, I just like bringing old things back to life. So it's a little bit tight on the one side. So it's a matter of just taking it down and shaping it so it'll go in. I want it to go in so it's right-handed. I think I want it to go on that way. So it's flat on this side. And this side is not flat. So this is a hewing hatchet, if you can see the profile. And I believe I want the flat side so that if I was working a tree this way, it would be on my right hand, I believe. Uh, so I see where I've got to take it down a little bit more on this front piece here. See how it fits now. I know I can put it on this way all the way because we're almost there that way. I'm just not sure which way it should be done. So I just tapped it a few times and it come right on.
well, let's get her put on. All right, so let me unplug the grinder here. Uh, in order to put a hatchet on or a handle on, uh, you strike it on this end with a hammer, which I have lots of hammers. I picked up a cool hammer today. I think this is called a crossbit hammer. It looks very old. I'm sorry, cross peen hammer. I believe it's a blacksmithing hammer. It's got an X ground onto that side. But anyhow, in order to put the hand hatchet on, you hold it like this and you strike the end. And as you can see, it continues to jump forward. onto the handle. So you don't have to beat it into place. You just have to thump it on the back here a little bit. What do you think? So, I understand it's a hundred year old hatchet and it's just going to look good. So, we've got a wedge here. Just a wood, cheap wood wedge that goes in the slot here. Mark it. Just tap it with the file here and cut it, or the chisel here and cut it in half. So we only needed half of it. Uh, you can make these wedges, but I found them at the local shop here uh, for, I think, like 18 cents a piece. We'll put a little... wood glue on it put some wood glue in the slot oh, we got a plug in there. there we go put some wood glue on the thing the wood glue will keep it from coming out obviously it will make it permanently affixed so we'll take and just using the edge of the bench here you can hear it tighten up there So that gets the wedge in and it's glued and uh, now all we got to do is cut the edge of that off. Trim it up, put a little stain on the handle. So let's put her on pause for a second. We'll see what it looks like in a second. So we took it over on the saw, just cut the main part of that off. I think we'll just plug the grinder in and grind the rest of that off. Seems to make sense to me. Most of doing stuff like this is a matter of doing it. So. There's so many people afraid to try anything. 
these days. I do not know why. And I imagine there's purists out there that'll go, oh, he done it wrong. Well, if I did it wrong, tell me what I did wrong. I got a handle on a hatchet that didn't have a handle when I bought it. So I couldn't have done it all that wrong. So, it's coming out pretty good. So there, pretty nice, it's very tight, and like I said for a hundred and whatever year old hatchet, the company I believe, I looked them up online and it, it's, it's not a high valuable, but it's probably a $40 hatchet, and uh, you know for a handle I had and diddling with it for a little bit. Smooth the edge of this out a little bit. Uh, grinders are for metal, I understand. But you know what? They work on wood too. And it's what I've got. And it, doing with what you have is the important part. So it's very nice. Sand it up nicely. We'll put some finish on it. And uh, we'll put it up to the shop. Let somebody buy it. Somebody will love it. So, all right. So, like I always say, like, subscribe, comment, and God bless you and God bless America.